How much money does this oil and gas well make? We're here on one of our well locations in Schleicher County, which is in West Texas. This is a well that we bought last March. And I talk on my channel all the times about buying large packages of operated oil and gas properties. And sometimes that can seem a little bit unrelatable. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break the numbers down on this well right here. We're gonna tell you how much revenue it generates and how much cash flow it generates for us every single month. Okay, so last month, this well produced a total of 673 barrels. That means that for the entire month, this well produced on average 22 barrels a day. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to take the mineral owner's share right off the top. So on this particular well, we pay the royalty owner about 15% of every barrel that gets produced, right? So that is what we call the mineral owner's royalty. And that's a royalty that we're paying under the terms of an oil and gas lease, which leaves us with about 85% of every barrel that gets produced. That's what we get to keep. So the mineral owner gets their 15%, that comes right off the top, and we get our working interest percentage, which is about 85%. Okay, so how much net revenue did this property generate for us on that 673 barrels, right? So total revenue, after accounting for what we pay to the mineral owner was $30,283. But it doesn't stop there, right? Because we have a bunch of other expenses that we have to pay before we get to net revenue. Now, the first is the severance tax that we pay to the state of Texas. So I'm showing that we paid almost $3,000 in severance taxes. Now there are other deductions that we also have to account for for gathering and transportation. So what does it cost to take a barrel of oil from this location and get it to market? In this case, the oil from this well is produced to a central tank battery and a truck is gonna come by once every couple of days and they're gonna pick up a load and they're gonna take it to market, right? So we have to think about the fees that we're paying to the trucking company right, that's gonna transport that barrel to market. So the next thing that we have to think about are our other expenses, right? And we call these lease operating expenses. And these are direct expenses to us, the operator associated with the operation of this well. So we have lease operators or pumpers that manage this field for us and we have to account for their salaries. We also have to pay for the electricity to power this pumping unit and all the pumping units across the field. So we had to move because our little H2S monitors started chirping and we don't want to screw with that. We had a little bit of a safety moment, so we moved just down the road. We were talking about electricity, right? So electricity to run all these pumping units, right, is one of the major expenditures that we have. On that particular location, we spend about $1,500 a month just to run that pump jack. Now, other expenses that we have, you know, beyond our field labor, and electricity include vehicle expenses, the trucks that all of our guys drive. We've got SWD or saltwater disposal expenses. We've also got chemical expenses. So certain chemicals, corrosion inhibitors, and other chemicals that we use in these wells in order to maintain mechanical integrity and make sure that they continue pumping for a long time. There's also replacement of valves, fittings, and piping that happens throughout the field all year long. And none of that includes the expenses that we have whenever the well actually breaks, right? So when we get a rod part or a hole in the tubing or something that needs to be fixed, we have to have a workover crew bring a rig out here pull all the rods and tubing out of the well and replace everything so that well can start pumping again, right? So for this particular well, all of our expenses added up to about 5,800 bucks last month. So if we start from the top, we had about $30,000 a month of total revenue from the oil sold from that well. From that, we deduct taxes and other deductions from revenue. And we also have to account for our LOE or lease operating expenses. And that leaves us with net operating income or NOI of $20,507 last month. Now that's an excellent profit that we get from that well, but at the end of the day, there's a whole lot that goes into producing that barrel of oil. So at $20,000 a month of net operating income, how much is that little well worth? Well, when we're out shopping for wells, we typically like to pay 36 months 
or three years of cash flow. So 36 months times 20,507 gives you about 738 grand. So that one little well that we showed you making 20 barrels a day is worth almost three quarters of a million bucks. So if you wanna see more content on oil and gas, mineral rights, you wanna see more wells like this, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the Minerals Guy channel.